Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Meticulous Talks on November 19th. I am Cursed Quartz. Big Cheese. And Grand Paws. Thank you both for being with me tonight. Glad to be here. The, check, the check's in the mail, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, you guys are both, uh, well, yeah, you are both the upper bracket remaining people in the tournament. Uh, you've both played, but, sorry, go on. But only for the next two hours and 45 minutes, right? Uh, that is true. Well, for one of you. Right. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> One of you is going to move on and be in the grand finals, and the other one is going to uh, drop down to face off against Bugle, who is waiting in the lower bracket. Right, and then beat Bugles and go to the grand finals. So why don't we just skip all of next week, and we can just get on with it? I mean, I'd have to call up Bugle and ask if, he was, if he'd be okay with that. <laughs> if he's sleeping because he's been up watching Desert Bus for a week and doesn't give a response, that means yes, right? Bugle, if you're okay with it, don't say anything. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Just crack on, then. Yep. As long as you guys are willing to play it live, so we can have some uh, have a stream. Oh, boy. Uh, but no, we, uh, we recorded this earlier in the week. Um, and, well, yeah, as, as is the thing, as we've been doing for the last... We've been doing this for like three months now already. Um, you guys are here to give commentary and verdict on your decisions in game. I suppose. Uh, and we did start with adventure. Let me get that queued up here. Um, and I guess actually. I have I've really enjoyed hearing you guys' um uh rationales for the decks that you picked going into these matches. Uh in the in the case of adventure, obviously there's a uh, you both are running the or at least you have in your stable the zipper will control thing. Which is going to lose against the uh, what the other people are playing. So right. We were we were both kind of in the same position, I think, where neither of us wanted to do the Zippo matchup early. And each of us knew that if we chose Zippo, the other person's non-Zippo deck would beat us. Therefore, the only possible match that we could have had at the beginning were the other decks. Yeah, yep. Too. Yeah. Uh, which, for those of you who have forgotten, uh, would, is Grandpa's with the uh, BRB and Cheese with the Hot Wings. What is this, like 2017 or 2018? It's a bit of a blast from the past, isn't it? Kind of seems like it. Uh, even with a... Well, the, the ban list in Adventure is a little bit of a rewind from the one in Core. Yep. I wonder how much of this has honestly changed. Uh, well, let's... I, I think these decks have some new cards in them, right? Yes. Yeah, I'll just I'll just throw yours up on screen here, Grandpa. Sure, that's fine. So, uh, BRB kind of shifted some years ago from the traditional kind of mid-range control strategy to a much harder control strategy. But the one thing that didn't really change was its problem deck. The deck still needs a way to score points, and because portal effects are often expensive, um, you can't just rely on cycling Miss Main, although you do end up running that in here. That being said, against Hot Wings, um, you know, I'm thinking about the fact that if my friends get dismissed, I'm going to want a method of bringing them back, so I'm leaving the tender taps in, which would otherwise be a sideboard configuration. There's very little. Uh, that could be in Cheese's discard pile that I would be seriously concerned about uh, stop fighting, really the only choice. 
Uh, almost no resources to end up hitting, so drop the Flurry Heart, that's easy. And then uh, one Luna's Future, because it is the weakest of the portal effects. And then Zakora Forest Shaman. Yeah, you can make the argument that it's it's entry and can potentially swing a face off, but it's very unlikely to happen just with how much disruption, hard or soft, that opposing deck is running. Mm -hmm. So plan plan is just going to be get a disruptive piece out early and uh, try to get as much value out of that particular card over time as I possibly can. Yep. Uh, if you if you do manage to get the whole bodyguard set up. Uh, you're you're almost certain just to to get the value out of it because hot wings can't really choose not to start face offs. True, uh, hot wings does have one of the best suites of cards for dealing with bodyguards without triggering it though. Uh, between Spitfire and Stop Fighting and Rutherford, um, all of which are very good frightened tools. So that is something I have to be aware of. Um, really, the card that I would like to keep most of all, is going to be Bait and Switch, if I can get one into play. Which seems a little weird, because it is slower. Um, but replacing a Hot Wings problems can actually be uh, quite useful, if for no other reason, because you can drain them of hasty resources and action tokens. Yeah. Only the first one's slow. And mm. the rest of them are as fast as any other friend. Yep. That's about all I got. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, do you have any perspective on facing this deck, Cheese? Um, go fast. Like, with this get deck gets set up, there's not much you can do, but it does take some time to get set up. So go fast, yeah. Makes sense. I will... Move on over to the Hot Wings. Uh, obviously, we've talked about this. this. This deck's come up a couple times in your matches before, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think, yeah. Um, yeah, the sideboard choices here were super easy. Well, yeah. Uh, pretty much. You have no real need for uh rubber box i mean that's an anti-farming card obviously and uh yeah and then none of the resources are critical mm -hmm. yeah like hot wings for sure is is one of the cards that like this is there's not that there's not that much new stuff in here is it just the gals and silver streams and the final question i guess and, um, your reputation. and you're locked in here with me. It's the problem deck that most of us uh, revise. Yeah, yeah, I guess it yeah. is. Yeah. The starting Property. problem. <laughs> yeah. Property damage as well. That's a big one. Oh, uh, yeah. Good point. But it, it really does feel the same as the original version. Mm -hmm. Is there a point at, at which you would be comfortable uh that you could win even if Ranfoz had gotten sort of himself set up like if you had gotten to like 11 or 12 points or i mean yeah so there is a point at which uh if you have enough backup cards like if you have if you had like two first mate mullets in hand and enough AT, you can break through pretty much anything. Uh, as long as it's um, like uh, GP wasn't running uh, Frighten Everything, whatever that card is called. Fire, uh, Untested Magic Fireworks. Right. So it's mostly all single target removal. So at some point you do have enough resources just like, okay, well... How many things can you remove? Right. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, but for the most part, it is a it is a race against uh, his ability to draw and uh, get his cards in play. Yeah, we saw a match a week or two ago where I was eventually able to hold off long enough and outlast 
my opponent's supply of cards in hand, and that's, like she said, very much the metric by which the game is going to be determined. Hot Wings has to spend its cards to do its thing, but it gets tremendous value out of that. It needs to have the right cards for the right value early enough uh, that whatever middling disruption I can throw out while I'm trying to set up is not sufficient enough to stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. That uh, set the table pretty well. Um, shall we get to it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see who goes first. You've already sideboarded? Yeah. Yep. 19. I can probably count on one hand the number of die rolls I've won against cheese, so... <laughs> Uh, this hand is bad. It has no entry, and I need that to be able to do things. Mm -hmm. That is kind of bad. So this is an easy mulligan. For some reason, I didn't keep two first mates. I guess you only had one piece of pink entry. Yeah, and like two. I my thing is that I didn't. I wanted um, angel wings. I mean, sure. Okay. I didn't get so angel wings, right. but let's do you it. You had a pretty good hand, though. Lock. Yeah. Yeah, you're both ready to start. Yep. Is that hand? All right. It's oh, well, it's about on par, Thanks. I think, with where the other one was. Yours, cheese. Move up. Uh, yeah, I think it's about equivalent. I think it's slightly better. It has a removal. Yeah, the food fight's probably worth it. Flip. Although I don't think much I can hit. Four phase confront. You don't have too many threes. Uh, you have a decent number. Uh, pass turn. Yeah. I have more playable cards in this hand. Unfortunately, it just doesn't really uh, amount to a whole lot. Zakor is a pretty decent draw, though. I'm not going to be able to do anything with that until turn three, but it's nice. Yeah, I think you did double Pinky here. Yeah. Figured the There's no reason play. not to. Yeah, I mean, there is technically a reason not to if you don't have anything better to do with your AT, and it kind of shows my hand as being weaker, Game but two. because I have the tender taps, right. if I can draw any two cost frame that I might want to bring back, you know, that might be worth it. Yeah. And if nothing else, I can bring back Discord Party Clasher just to be able to retire it to draw a card and technically get some purple entry. Okay. I will go to score phase. Yep. Confront for one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're in a stable position on Cheese's side of the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rainbow Shine's nice here, if I can end up getting some events. Yeah, I think you play her this turn. Yeah, I think I opt for the Rainbow Shine. Hoping to draw into, like, Bodyguards, or... Oh, mm -hmm. um, uh, no, you did that, and then did it. Or the Stop the Face-Off. Yeah, I think I go for a Confront here at Mystery. Hmm. A1 for a motivational speech. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Name purple. Yep. Not a die, not a marker. That's fine. Try to minimize the uh, the point deficit. And okay, an exhausted rainbow shine with two seashell tokens in play one. can telegraph okay, one. belly flop. So I'm yeah. usually okay with that happening. However, the stop fighting here was obviously very good to have in hand and a very mm -hmm. nice draw. Pass. I don't know if I needed to play it right that second you were at zero AP, but I was very afraid of things happening. If you didn't play it at that window, then I would have uh, been able to exhaust it. Oh, I think that's what it was. Yeah, I didn't want you to have the, like, if you had a belly flop or something. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with one, one pink entry showing, belly flop could be okay. strong. Uh, I'll go to Are you running uh, Confront? nap cakes? I'll no. Two. No. And no reason to run nap cakes when I'm running pink. Yeah. That's Wait, those, are two, those are two very good draws back to back. Yep. The stop fighting to disrupt the face rainbow off. shine, deny the draw off the face off. Into the pinky. Into the pinky for the most efficient uh, most efficient so face off you can. Right now? Um, yeah, before flips, I am at seven. Okay. 
That's fine. I'm just yep. trying to figure out if I want to bother with tender taps here and ultimately yeah. decide now. Uh, so you and that would have been a very nice card to draw. Okay. Yep. I'll search four. That's fine. It's not going to be on the bottom. That's a good point, yeah. Here. Okay. You both kind of flip into problems that you like to see. Uh, yep, and pass turn. Yeah, but I dislike his problem a lot more than I like mine right now. Yeah. This is, uh, well, this I is very I much a case of me being um, about 180 one. short mm -hmm. of what I want to do. And yep. pass turn. Yeah, because you can't confront that. Right. Three and three. Draw so the three. only thing I can really do is try to set up um, as much of a wall as possible. Here's the second Spitfire. I will. And in in theory, with only five AT, that's a like, what is that? That's seven. No, that's not nine to confront. Two. Final question. Yeah. Right, but between. Between Sorry. Rutherford and Spitfire, um, yeah, or a or a food fight like that is um, that nine is Corfe. only going to be a nine until she's plays his first one, card for the turn. Four. Yeah, and I'm one one AT away here from double confronting. Uh, pass turn. Now you couldn't play Rutherford just off of that hand. You would have had to do something else, but property damage would have also worked okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Um, Smile's okay here, I'm trying to figure out what I can do. Uh, the Rainbow Shine being frightened is uh, frustrating right now. But play party I can unfrighten it and get a card out of it. And I'm going to choose to banish. Uh, or I can get Zakora, which I believe is what I'm going to choose to do. I thought you Rainbow used. Shine. Yeah, you do Rainbow Shine here. Do I? Okay. Yep. And then use it to replace your problem. I'll retire Party Clasher. Yeah, another smile. Oh no, I I don't replace your problem. I find you a bodyguard. Yeah, I shuffle Spitfire in there, I believe. Yep. And not exactly the spot I want to be in. Um... I don't think you've seen. Well. Technically, you have one removal right now. It's I guess Smile's also removal. Yeah. It's not great. Like, none of these are great removal for you right now. Uh, two for Smile, Smile, Smile. Yep. I mean, Smile is about as efficient as all the other removal, except for Belly Flop, when you factor in Rainbow Shine's discount. Spitfire, mm -hmm. It's 2AT, get rid of a friend, and lets me find something. So, like, it's not, it's not the worst. See, now I'm just hoping for uh, I'll grab body. Yep. Yeah. Pass turn. So mm -hmm. this at least gives me a method of getting into bodyguards for, for free for if right. she's does manage to go for a face off. Yeah. And I think I, yeah, I drew into another Spitfire. Immediately draws a Spitfire. Yeah. Uh, this has been the tournament of people drawing play sets of cards, fortunately. Yeah, that was, that was the third Spitfire. Or possibly the second one. I just shuffled one back in. Oh, well, yeah. Hmm. It's the third one I've drawn. Third one you've drawn, yes. I think I'm figuring out if I can double confront. I don't remember. Yeah, you're easily able to double confront. Oh, yeah. Confront. Oh, yeah, because I can play that. Sure. Don't care about your resources. Okay. Um, score phase? Score phase is fine. For one. And three. Yep, there's the plushie down. But you look and see how oh, much those resources as far as cards in hand are dwindling right now. Mm -hmm. like, yes, yeah, this has been three. a lot of a lot of explosive power. Face off. But there's only three cards left, and one of them is just hard removal that at this point in time it isn't even doing anything. Put a card on top. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. 
So I've got I've got white for free now, which is nice. Yep. Gonna have five AT to work with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got my absolution. Little aggravating to see a problem that cheap to confront. Okay. Uh, that text is irrelevant to me, or for my face off, or for my confronts. Um, but yeah, not out of this yet. Still got, uh, still got options. Mm -hmm. Ready, game five. Uh, unfortunately, with the board state being what it is right now, um, I'm unlikely to retire. ever get the value out of prepared tokens on bodyguard because if it goes to another face off. Um, yeah, it's very, You've very likely. Mm -hmm. Pretty much already lost at that point, yeah. Right. There's a chance I could keep him at 14. I'll put uh, that but it's hard. Bottom. Bottom. You'd have okay. to win the face-off. Make the unicorn. Mm -hmm. I believe I saw a uh, you're locked in here with me. I believe I put that on bottom. Smile, smile, smile. Yep. I'm going to... Uh, search my. I think I just grabbed Discord here out of my discard pile. Discard pile. Grab a party and hope for no final question. Joyous sea pony into your deck. I didn't want to play the. Um, Make a unicorn. I didn't want to play the Miss Main here. Yep. For fear of she's being able to get additional value back. I can't recall exactly what he ended up discarding, but I know there was something. Uh, it's uh, there's a um, uh, stop there's fighting. A, there's mm -hmm. a stop fighting, there's a property damage, and there's something else. Unicorn? Yeah. It's a Discord. Retire party clasher? Oh, That's right. right. It's a, it's yeah. a Discord. Draw a card, unicorn. And that would basically be fine final question. Scorefit. Okay, in this a case, lot of, figuring... A lot of bodyguard shenanigans going on that turn. I mean, there's a, there's a little bit. I'm figuring, okay, three three cards in hand, four cards after draw, uh, five AT. Five, draw a card. Seen two Spitfires already. Spend the two to play that. Can probably do something. Ah, okay. Well, you're right. Only one more hasty uh, friend in hand. Mm -hmm. Holiday Spirit turned off. Thank you, bodyguards. Spend two. Also, thank you, Skystar. For holiday spirit. Sure. That's fine. Uh, confer. I got no, a I'm just score banking on there not being uh, a. Uh, okay. Spend three. A plushy down. Spitfire. Okay, another Spitfire. Food fight. Obviously Wait, frustrating. Sakura. Mm -hmm. At all three Spitfires, huh? Yep. But uh, this is going to get me four action tokens, uh, and it will get me. Um, attempt to confront. Some Spot. unicorn tokens because I've got the portal in hand. Face off. Gain four action tokens. Yep. Let's uh, let me think about this here for a moment. Debating if I want to do anything before flips. Decide not to. Okay, well, works out okay. Discord it's a fortuitous chaos effect, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, before all this, you were at four power and I was at... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve right now. And I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm at six. Mm -hmm. And you're currently at twelve or thirteen, whatever Jest is. Okay. It's, a, it's a four, yeah. Two, so, yeah. twelve. Banish Sakura and put Sakura into play. But that ties us. Making a unicorn token. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're still two up currently. I'm just double checking the math here. Correct? Uh, six, ten, twelve, yeah. Inter interdimensional one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, oh, I guess, and then I you guess move that up, that. make yep. a unicorn. Yep, now I'm at 13. Up. Up by and one. you're up yep. by one. Okay, score two. Mm -hmm. I was dreading that being a Gallus and Silver Stream in your hand. 
But yeah. Gotta play, gotta play to your outs. Yeah. Yeah. Game's not over yet. No, nope. worked okay. Uh, got some AT. Okay. Surprise, take off. Sure. My turn. Yep. Now the miss main okay. here is odd draw. Because boy, I would like some of those cards out of my discard pile, but I really don't want cheese to have one. Anything it is. Since my best defensive tool right now is going to be Zakora. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I can do. And retire one of the unicorn tokens. Take a look at your problem. Taking a peek. Seeing maybe if it's worth going for a smile off of uh, Miss Vane. I think I decide it's not. Drawing, looking for some answers. We'll do it again. I feel like with the meta being as heavy on Hot Wings as it is, there may be one too many pieces of uh, entry in this list. I feel hmm. like I felt that way for Pass turn. almost every time. match that has been I, played. I, I do feel like you've had trouble finding your, uh, uh, your events a few times now. Yeah. Or at least the meaningful ones. Yeah, so at this point you have one piece of removal. Great. Right. Okay. Pass turn. Okay. Main five, draw a card. Now on my side, I see you have eight cards at hand and five AT. Yep. <laughs> to pay one to draw a card. And of course, the funny thing here is... Uh, let's see, do you... I think you go for it, right? You you play the property yeah. damage. Yeah. Uh, if you hadn't drawn a friend, if you hadn't drawn any two cost friend, um, the tempest and grubber would have been enough to stop it for yeah. another turn at least. Mm, sure. We'll pay two. But play, play at this again. point, because of Luna's free move, um, I think I sit here for a while and I'm yeah, like, like he. Cheese does have the choice to move or not another uh, character. Yeah, so I sit here for a while being like, should I just go for it? Okay. Again, I mean, it's it's um, one of those play to your out things, right? You spend two AT here, and I don't have any single immediate removal piece that can deal with two cards simultaneously. So worst case scenario... You don't spend a card, you move up one of your characters, and two to move up. I have to spend yep. more resources. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think it's just always correct to do this. I agree. Tempest Shadow and Grubber Spitfire on top of you. Make a unicorn token. Get that out of the way. But unfortunately, I never saw a belly flop, mm -hmm. never saw and anything else, so that'll do it. Okay. Yep. Yep, that's uh, it's, oh, sorry. Oof. The momentum had started to shift, but just too much of an early start. Losing the final question was uh, obviously brutal. Yeah. All right. So that was uh, that's one game down. Uh, she's got there in time, which means we move over to core. Um, and I'll admit, uh, I have made no, um, uh, confusion over the fact that I want to see the Zippo mirror. So <laughs> I, I was happy that it was on, or at least if, if that were to go potentially to the there, right. Yeah, there was, if, if this match ended up in my favor, there was a 50, 50 shot that we could see the worst match imaginable. Yeah. <laughs> but. I was prepared. The other thing that I wanted was to see your Royal Tutor deck finally, Grand Pause. It you... was never going to happen. There was never a chance that you were going to end up seeing that. Well, if... Well, so, spoilers. You don't choose it now. Yes. But that means if the coin flip goes the other way and game three is core, I see it. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. So I'm... Sure. I, 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 I'm... 
totally rooting for you because if if you win this game, no matter what, I'm getting uh, something I want. Fair enough. Way to way to be unbiased. <laughs> <laughs> I also wanted me to win this next game, interestingly enough. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought? Yeah. I did I not want to go to a third game. Because the possibility of Zippo was too high? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, so, yeah, as, as stated, uh, it, was, it was not the Royal Tudor deck. It was the Grogar deck, which I think, uh, given what you've already said about it, I think people should probably be able to deduce the deck that Cheese chose as well. Then, uh, well, I think mine. I think mine was surprising. Your choice is a little more interesting here, um, and it it is a bit of a gamble, right? My choice is one hundred percent cut and dry. I cannot choose Royal Tutor because if I choose Royal Tutor and Cheese chooses Stunning Wonder, it's over. There's nothing I can do. Uh, there, I have absolutely zero chance of being able to beat Stunning Wonder Bloom with Royal Tutor. Royal Tutor is a deck designed to outgrind, or not outgrind, but get around traditional control strategies and move a little faster than farm. It's not designed to face aggro. So I am locked into Grogar, which is fine, because Gro- uh, the Grogar deck is supposed to be good against Stunning Wonder. Yes. Yeah, and I didn't want to face. I don't know. So my other deck is uh, Alicorns, and I didn't. I don't know. I just feel like I, I do Stunning Wonder better. <laughs> I knew fair. I knew it wasn't a great matchup, but like I also knew the deck was dumb. So just play the most powerful option you have. Fair yeah, enough. Uh, just pull out the biggest gun. I will put Stunning Wonder up on the screen right now. Yes. Um, it's it's so nice of you to prep a nice visual layout like this for the future ban list updates. <laughs> <laughs> see that you see those key cards right there. Just keep keep an eye. <laughs> you missed one. Why is Final Question not in every key card section? Ever on any deck that plays <laughs> it is well okay like the real reason is it's a it's a problem and probably i'd have to like move stuff around to make it look nice no it's just sideways you just leave it sideways it's fine yeah sideboarding here is uh you don't have troublemakers so sanctuary construction go and go out right. um motivational speech was like i need to get rid of another card and I'll be greedy on entry. And uh, then... Did you only sideboard four cards? Yeah. They're, like, what else am I going to sideboard? I'm taking a look. Do you think you need eight dilemmas? I'm also playing an aggro deck. It's not like my problems are especially difficult to confront. Yeah, but dilemmas are good for me. It's a free card draw. And card draw is important. And you're saying the difference between nine dilemmas and eight dilemmas is that significant? Yes. Well, so. yeah, see, that's the interesting thing, right? Because it's, it's not... Um... It's not really diluting the deck match because the, the cards just replace themselves, yeah. Yeah. Well, provided that there wouldn't be something else entering. Yeah, that. yeah it only happens once, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, we have. Gee, I, I don't. I've lost count of how many times I've shown this deck. Granted, slight uh, variations of it. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's much more that needs to be said. It hasn't been said already. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fluttershy. Fluttershy is best poem. Fluttershy is worthy of being on the ban list where she belongs. The good news is, the Grogar deck packs a lot of answers to it. This is true. And you would certainly hope so, given that it was effectively built to try to stand up 
to what Stunning Wonder Blue can do. Yep. Uh, we have seen this deck uh, do some pretty impressive stuff uh, in the in the matches so far in the tournament. Uh, if you manage to get Applejack and Flourish I planted um, and Smolder alongside them, really. I don't know um, how much I'd agree with the Desert Road as a key card here. I'll be entirely honest. Um, it is a very useful card. However, the fact that you did not list Monumental Evil in its place surprises me. So, if I recall correctly, uh, the first time that we had, or like the last time that this showed up in the tournament, uh, that's what it was. It was those same key cards with Monumental Evil there instead of Desert Road. Right. Um, and I feel like I was thinking that... Um, so obviously, like, Monumental Evil doesn't actually cancel out the card draw in the AT. But of course, it does get rid of the dilemma. Uh, it, it does hit what is, well, what, 8? So that's like 20, less than 20, 15% of the deck, I guess. Desert Road does disrupt a number of um, key cards there, or at least buy me some time. The problem is that one of the single most valuable cards Cheese can draw is also kind of immune to Desert Road in that Rocket Scooter can deal with it just instantly. Hmm. Um, and if there's excess Pegasi at home, then it really doesn't even cost that much. The bigger reason why I wouldn't necessarily put Desert Road as a key card in this matchup over Monumental Evil is because in order for me to decide to play Desert Road, I am taking a turn off of Aggrowing, and this is already a slower deck than what Stunning Wonder Blue can do. I really can't afford to do that. I am not a control deck. I have three Princess Combo Meals and three Melted Expectations, and if I get set up, there's Extreme Obstacle Course and Rainbow Dash Pony Pirate for Disruption, and that's it. I am hoping to be able to outrace and just find my way through gaps through Disruption that is especially useful against that list. And three action tokens, unless I have numerous Applejack price fixings, um, oftentimes can be expensive. Too expensive. Yep. Yep. Good arguments. Um. I, I guess I, I, I do kind of try to find and change up the key cards as we move through, but yeah. Sure. Uh, I, I, I think it's one of those two, right? I have a lot of resource synergies. There's a lot of resource-based um, answers to what this deck is trying to do, and so it's going to be one of those two cards. I just... Uh, in a list with Brian as well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, it's it's tough, so... Viewers take note of the Monumental Evil as well. Also a very important card. All right, let the battle of the final questions begin. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Anything to say before we start, Cheese? Uh, no, I think we're good. All right, let's go. Uh, I will be taking a mulligan here. Do we get to go first in the aggro matchup? That's always nice. Uh, we didn't get to see much of your hand, but it wasn't good enough. I think I have no entry in my hand. Yeah. Like, it is otherwise very good, but <laughs> I'm mulling. Yeah, I looked at all the cards over there and thought, wow, that's that's a solid hand, but I guess there wasn't any blue. Let's see how this one looks. Uh, also no blue. Also no blue, yeah. But yeah. it has a featherweight. Let's do it. So... If you're not going to have entry, I suppose that's the best place to start, huh? Ooh. Pass. Okay. Yeah, I'll two, go for the confront. Draw a card. Then two. Okay. Pass. Two. Yep. And we'll start trading points early. Mm -hmm. Another Flutterjack, not exactly what I need right now. Okay. I am looking at this mm -hmm. uh, snack stand price fixing okay. desert Three. road now as an option, Three. though. Hey. Uh, not yet. Hey. Look at that. Yeah, there's the blue. Yeah, now 
the line of play you take here is a little interesting, Cheese, I think. Because you opt for a slightly more, uh, I guess, extended way of doing it. And... Like, you could just drop the brine right now for the DFO. Um... Yes. But I wanted to get... Oh, I remember what I do here. Yeah. Um... I wanted to get... Um... Cloud Tracer and Flitter out and GPs at two, so I can play this. Yep. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, two is fine. I'm not gaining three. All right. Two. And yeah, makes sense. Uh, obviously, uh, Cloud Tracer and Flitter is a great value over time card. Uh huh. Sure. Not that I actually needed to play it, but I think. I think Go ahead. I played it just to have it out. Well, sure. If you can get two uses out of it, it breaks even minus the fact that it doesn't provide you a card. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I score. I score one. Little sad to lose the smolder here, but uh, because that dilemma did enter play, at least I'm not yeah. facing down the immediate card uh, advantage you, from stunning wonder. So your... that's something. You have uh, played a dilemma. Yeah. So that is that is the trade off. You get the. Uh, Try some yeah. flutter into play, but you miss a Fluttershy trigger. Yep, That's correct. The dream here would have been having the uh, the melted in hand, but can't always go that way. And yep. Okay. Okay. Slow problems for both of us. Might give some time to set up. I think I actually completely blank on the fact that there is a Brian on the field. Because mm. uh, I think I do decide to go for the desert road here. Naming Orin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So snack stand. Play. Price fixing for one. Good job covering your key ability text. <laughs> Exhaust price fixing. Desert road. Okay. Pass turn. Okay. Right, but yeah, that uh, is just gonna. I mean, return. it does mean that I don't get rid of your stack stand, snack stand. Although I probably wouldn't have gotten rid of stack stand, snack stand. But yeah, here's a perfect example of why I don't necessarily yeah. consider Desert Road a, a key card yeah. here. The Brian's already Fire in play, Brian. and he just drew a rocket yep. scooter anyway. That's fine. Play Desert Road. But Brian is, you know. One less card that can be fed to shoe shine, so I guess that's something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I forget what. So yeah, here I'm considering if I just want to get a flutter and bulk out, we'll just use the discount, or we'll pay one. draw a card using the dilemma. I think I do here. Yeah. Sanctuary. Okay. Join one, draw a card. And that was really just to draw the card. And I think I go with the bulk and flutter. Because I can't confront anything this turn. We'll exhaust. There's only three AT, yeah. Two, four. At this point, I'm just thinking, oh, come on, not a plushy dash, not like this. Sure. <laughs> I will pass turn. Okay. Really would have been a great control. point to have a bunyip. Hmm. Man, yeah. But yeah, it's a, uh, well, aside from the rocket scooter, it's a fairly tame hand. Let's pay one to draw. Mm -hmm. I do have two um, unsats. Unsats, yeah. Let's pay one again. Okay. Okay, now that's an interesting set of draws there. Mm -hmm. Um, next hand. Yeah, this this line of play is going to be coming here. It's pretty uh interesting. <laughs> Exhaust. Does snack stand only cost one? Price fixing. It's t it costs two, <laughs> except price fixing Exhaust. reduces the cost or makes you pay one less for the next resource. Yeah. So I go down to one, then I exhaust. Pay one. Did I mess that up? I I feel can, like this was fine. Can we back that up a little? Is that possible? 
Uh, give me a second. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, you start with three. Right. Then I pay two. Then I exhaust the snack stand. You pay two drawing, yeah. One exhaust. Let's pay one to draw. What what happens here? Yeah, I do that. So it yeah, it, it, it it costs you one to play. Oh wait a second. Yeah. See here, you're yeah. at one HP, and then you play it. Okay. Yeah, I exhaust that. Mm-hmm. Then I should have paid one for snack stand here, which I don't think I do. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Oops. Oh well. Exhaust. Yeah, oh, man. Price fixing. <laughs> yeah, that part was fine though. Yeah. Exhaust. I was the rest, in, the rest speed the rest of it lined up okay, but yeah, did not, yeah. I was enraptured by the uh, just, just the, the complexity of this line of play. <laughs> Score face. Yeah, so um, that's fine. So that, yeah, I considered unsatting at that point, but it was like uh, it doesn't actually do anything. So let's see. And three, ready. Draw three. Right, it was more a defensive, defensive Draw option. For uh, eager. I got pay two, two of those for a rocket scooter. I don't know why I didn't just. Was I like not paying attention? Couldn't I have just um, used plushy dash? Mm-hmm. Yes. For, for one. Mm-hmm. Pass turn. Seems sufficient. Yeah. Were you hoping to get rid of one of the snack stands or something? No. And you don't even go for the DFO here. Maybe it's because you. Well, no, you still. Well, I couldn't. Well, I'd have to get rid of some Pegasus. I don't want to get rid of. Maybe it was you wanted me to DFO so you'd get maximum value and would have first crack at a final question that comes up. No, I wasn't thinking of that. I think I just like forgot uh, that plushy dash was a thing or something. I don't know. Exhaust press fixing. Mm-hmm. Oh, exhaust well, press fixing. I've got Donut Joe now. Yeah. And Donut Joe in conjunction with uh, price fixing is very good. Exhaust snack stand. That is yeah. good. At this point, I'm like, oh, there's a lot going on. Hey, wow, your hand kind of sucks. Yes. Yep. Lotus has proven challenging to use in that deck, and I um, can't really point to something that would be significantly better because I need three rec to play Smolder. I need three rec to play uh, the other Smolder. I need three blue uh, for Plushy Dash. But lacking lesson plans for. Like the only thing I can play with two is Joe, oh, that's fine. and I I just don't know if that's uh, if that's yeah. worth it. But here, yeah, I determined that I can unset. Yeah, I was de- very much expecting it to be done at Joe here. Only three power, right? Uh, which is a level one reading of the situation. I totally understand yes. now why you did uh, Flutter Jack unset instead. Your Applejack and your shit. Okay, that's fine. Pass turn. Yeah, because with the rocket scooter in play, you can pretty easily knock me off yellow if you need to. Okay. Which I think I do. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my whole thing was I need to double confront, uh, and then I need you, like, not to have all your friends at the problem. Pony's always a good draw. Mm-hmm. What I should do here is just loyal pony up, um, cloud chaser and flitter. Okay. Um, well, exhaust to pay one for her because that would be three power. I guess that's also three power. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing. And you move your main, it's... I mean, I don't have any disruption right now, but in case something weird happened. 
Yeah. Hmm. You're just doing the math, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, we'll go to score phase, attempt to confront my problem. That's fine. Still low points on the board right now. Uh, attempt to confront your problem. That's fine. Let's have a face off. I think, yeah, you flip a stick here. Yeah. <laughs> and then I flip a. Hilariously one sided face off. Um, yeah. I'm at 19. So I think you go yeah. for the spiteful play That's and fine. unset the their flutter jack. We will. Pay Do you one also one go? No, you don't go for the fleshy dash as well. No. Treading water. Sure. Yeah. That's just a better move. You um, gotta burn them sometime. You can still win the face off. Okay. Sounds good. And I will. Looking at the math, I'm still up, so I'll grab a point. Okay. No question. Okay. I will gain an action token and draw a card. Little odd time for final and question. Oh, nice draw. I will use Rocket Scooter uh, to blow up your. Actually, sorry, no, not that and... one. To blow up here. Clarifying the broken cards are in fact broken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here I'm like, no, you can't have yellow. You are still in excess of home limit. Yep, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. It's two on sets down. Uh, so I'm okay. taking at least end of your Joe or whatever smolder I might eventually draw into is going to be saved. Mm -hmm. I I remember looking at this board now. I think, and it it mm -hmm. goes to show, I guess, how rusty my aggro math is. Seeing that uh, all of your characters now are three power, uh, that distracted lead actress seemed like a it would be a significant problem for you. Nope. Costs Very... nothing to bump one up. Very glad I paid the extra to draw. Uh, that being said, I think I end up making a mistake here. I draw the smolder, and I'm thinking that I want to save it for the next turn uh, to have one AT to put two power at a problem, uh, or zero AT to put two power at a problem, which is pretty fast. I think it just would have been absolutely correct to... Uh, to play it and be able to get five power at a problem for two instead. I think that's just a, a better choice, and I should have just opted to play it here. Uh, sure. Confront final question. Being said, mm -hmm. there's a lot of points here. Yep. Distractedly dangerous. Yep. Exhausting the AJ at home, by the way, was the thing that allowed yes. me to have a higher power character there in case people ended up as their. Okay. There's my on unset. I say, okay, cool, no more disruption. That being said, I am feeding another card and an AT to Stunning Wonder, who's already at 4 AT. I go up to 11. I see another final question come up. You're like, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's I'm fine, but it's also yeah, it's my a situation opinion. that's like, yeah. well, Stunning Wonder's now at nine action tokens, yeah, and probably. within eight points of winning... We've all drawing two cards. We, we've all seen this song and dance before. We know what's happening. I mean, yes, but like, I'll admit that I, I, I didn't see it coming. I think you skipped some. Did you have? I think you skipped me thinking there. Yes, yes, I, uh, I skipped a fair bit of thinking. Yeah. I mean, count the points on board, right? There's four points on board right now. Then five from Buckball, six uh, if you can confront it, seven from the Bunya. Okay win this turn. And eight so from uh, Flutter and Volk, right? Well, and yeah. Eight from, and eight right. from Flutter and Volk. Yeah, right there I was like, I just did the math and was like, um, oh. Let's My deck is stupid. Exhaust and pay. I, I like, yeah, the fact that you can have that kind of reach is Four. pretty, pretty ridiculous. Pay for trail. It, it's and, and the, less... The, the issue is that it's less about the fact that a deck can have that kind of reach and how frequently it does. See, yeah, that's the thing, right? Like this, th uh, this has happened like three or four times now in in recent memory, like two or three times in this tournament. 
Right. We saw we saw Jeffrey do it at Continentals in top four versus Pancake, right? Mm -hmm. Where Pancake was at uh, had guaranteed win on board next turn because he had a Seleno that was going to uh, flip from Tempo. There was nothing Jeffrey was going to be able to do about it. Has a, a fairly sizable grip. Uh, I didn't actually even need to play that there. And a few resources and swings for eight and people are ooing and aahing and this is, you know, ridiculous to think about. And then it keeps happening. I didn't even That's need the there. rocket scooter either. All I needed was the uh the plushy dash. Yeah. Plushy dash, yeah. But we both we both saw the math. We both played enough stunning one to know where that was going, so yeah. yeah. Um so yes, uh that is sorry. I don't mean to interrupt the uh conversation. Oh no, it's it, it's just me sitting here complaining. It's fine. By all means you can interrupt that anytime you want. Oh okay, fair enough. Um uh, yeah, that is uh, that is game two. Uh, that is you through to the grand finals, cheese. Congratulations! Congratulations! Yay. Yeah, yeah. I guess throw that up there. Uh, your next week is is off. You get a bye week for Thanksgiving, I guess. <laughs> uh, while uh, Grand Paws, you're going to have to play Bugle. Who? Well, yeah, he, uh, he he still hasn't shown up to say he wants to play that match, but I think he does. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We still haven't heard from him. There's a chance. We, oh, hold on. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We still haven't heard from him. There's a chance I don't actually have to play. It. This would be great. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Beagle Beagle's decks are perhaps the most interesting or unique ones I will face this turn. Uh, excluding Jeffries in round one. That's a fair point. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I, 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 I like. I guess I haven't had a stream yet to um, sort of talk about how the tournament has gone, and I guess there will be a meticulous talk stream about that maybe at some point in the future. Oh, good! By the time the tournament's done, you can talk about the tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's it's a huge part of my life. I I, I can't get rid of it. Um, I mean, you do commit effectively a quarter of a year to it, so. And we appreciate it very much, by the way. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I think that I am not a huge fan of the way the deck building worked out this time. Given all the all the hot wings and all the um Fluttershy. And I mean, like, yeah, to be fair, nobody really saw that coming. Like, Jeffrey's deck did kind of come out of left field uh, and kind of took the meta by storm. It was interesting that people had written it off. Um, but it really did end up getting quite a few key pieces from fond memories that really, really ended up helping. Notably, Vapor Trail was obviously a huge inclusion, which we knew about, but uh, Featherweight yep. was pr was probably one of the single most impactful cards that got from that set, and I think the biggest thing that, uh, that Jeffrey ended up showing everyone was we had all been doing the opener wrong. Um, he was absolutely the, the pioneer of, I'm going to start with searching high and low, and I think every single person who has played it since then and understands why that was the choice uh, agrees that it was correct. Uh, well, yeah, pretty much everybody in uh, in this tournament has done so. Uh, yeah, but, well, that is the match. It was a bit of a bit short and sweet this week. But uh, well, that's that's how, sorry. They can't all be thrillers. <laughs> yep, that's that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, thank you both to the two of you for uh, coming out and being with me tonight. Thanks for having yes, us. Sir. Uh, to everybody out there, well, first of all, thank you for spending your evening with us this Saturday night. We'll be back next week with uh, Grandpa's versus Bugle, the other half of the bracket.
uh, as well as a as, as a, a regular meticulous talk stream as well. Uh, I think finally talking about uh, Ciderfest results, which are public now. Now. Yeah. Yay! Talk also, about all the 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 decks that the one Ciderfest. Are we now? Is is <laughs> that what is that what we're gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> I see. And how excited am I going to be to talk about all these decks at one Slider Fest cheese? <laughs> Probably not very. Do you think I'm actually going to show up for the stream tomorrow, or do you think I'm going to conscientiously object? <laughs> I think you'll show up. That's a bold prediction. Guess we'll have to find out. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can find out is to, shameless plug here, tune in to commentary sessions. <laughs> I, I, hey, I was about to invite you to do so, so no worries. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna jump in here right now. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll have the stream tomorrow. We'll talk about uh, side of It was a good time. It was the first time I played Harmony in years, like actually years. Hmm. For Harmony, really? Yeah. Think about it. When was the last Harmony tournament? Wow. Babs did adventure. That's right. Yeah. Even Vancouver yeah. last year. Van Hoover was, last year didn't happen. Oh, yeah. No last year. I guess. Fair enough. I mean, card games were played at the hotel, but. <laughs> yep. Fair enough. Uh, so, yeah. Tune into that over at twitch.tv slash commentary of magic tomorrow night. Otherwise. And sure, oh, sorry. And then, and then make sure you tune in to Meticulous Talks next weekend for both of their streams. Thank you. Uh, but, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. Uh, I have nothing else to say except for I've been Curse Accord. Big cheese? Grandpa's. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.